हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू गैर सल्फा लेटेस्ट सी हाउ टू शेयर फाइल्स बिटवीन ओबन टू एंड विंडोज टेन ओपन टर्मिनल एंड टाइप द कमांड फॉर इंस्टॉलिंग सांबा सांबा इज एन ओपन सोर्स फ्री सॉफ्टवेयर दैट प्रोवाइड सीमलेस फाइल्स एंड प्रिंटर सर्विस टू एस एम बी एंड सी आई एफ एस क्लाइंट्स इट अलाउज कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन लिनेक्स यूनिक सर्वर एंड विंडोज बेस क्लाइंट्स टाइप योर सिस्टम पासवर्ड टू ग्रांड परमिशन टाइप वाई वैन इट शोज द मैसेज टू कंटिन्यू इंस्टॉलेशन It will download Samba and install it on the system. Now exit the terminal. So now Samba is installed on our system. So we can now create a folder and share it with our Windows 10 system. Open files. Go to home and create a folder for sharing with Windows 10 PC. I will rename it Home Cloud. And now right click on it and select properties. go to local network share and check mark share this folder check mark allow others to create and delete files in this folder you can also allow guest access for this folder those who don't have user account on this system now select add permissions automatically so now our folder has been shared successfully open the shared folder and create a new document we are creating this document to check whether our folder has been shared or not rename it to test network connectivity now get the ip address of the ubuntu system so that we can access the shared folder from other devices we require this ip address to access the shared folder from other devices now let's see how to add user and password for our shared folder type the command for adding the user I will name my user as home. Type your system password to grant permissions. Now type the command for adding password. Type the system password to grant permissions. Now type the new password for the shared folder. retype the password for shared folder now password is set for user home and now we can access our file from windows system go to start menu and open run application type the ubuntu ip address to access the shared file you can see the home cloud folder that we have created in ubuntu and it contains the test network connectivity document that we have created in ubuntu now we will create a document using windows system and rename it to successfully connected and it will be visible in ubuntu system type anything that you want to share in this file to check the connectivity basically the folder has been successfully shared but now we are testing back and forth that the file sharing is working seamlessly or not
it looks very complicated to access the shared folder by typing the IP address every time we want to open the folder. So we will create a local drive in this PC so that we don't need to type the IP address every time for opening the shared folder. Open this PC and select computers and create a map network drive. Now type the IP address and folder name for which you want to create the drive. And check mark reconnect at sign in so that it connects whenever we sign into our PC and click finish. Now the shared drive will be visible under this PC section. And now we can share our files by dragging and dropping them into this drive. And we don't need to type the IP address every time to open the shared folder. Now let's finally check whether it's working or not. So this is the complete procedure how we share files between Ubuntu and Windows 10.